In this week's video tech tip, we're going to talk about customizing SOLIDWORKS. Now, the reason I think that this is very important is because we all have a limited resource of time, right? So how can we get back some of that time? Well, we can work smarter and quicker. And one way to make SOLIDWORKS work for you is to customize it to your liking. So we'll first show you how to customize SOLIDWORKS, and then we'll show you how to save your settings and then take them anywhere you want so you always have your SOLIDWORKS system and interface looking exactly how you want. So I'm working here and some of the tools that I like to use and always have access to, I like to put up on this heads up display. So to customize things on the heads up display, you come up here to the drop down next to your options and you look for customize dot dot dot. Now that I'm in this menu, I go to commands and here you have access to every single SOLIDWORKS command and the icon over here on the side. So what I'm going to look for is the measure command. I know it's in tools. I come up here and I see it right here. So I get a preview of it to verify what's going on. I confirm it's what I'm looking for and then I just drag it and then the red X appears telling me now I can place it because I saw the symbol switch to the plus. Let's look at that again. X plus, and I can drop it on there like that. If I want to remove a command like normal to, I just drag it off and it's been deleted. Okay, just like that. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So here on the standard, if I want to always have cancel, for example, delete, rebuild, you know, whatever it is, I can just drag it directly onto it here. If I don't want it, like rebuild, take it off because I have rebuild up here. So why do that? I can do standard views. And now I'll always have the isometric button here. I can quickly get to isometric. I can put normal to here. Again, just drag and drop these on. I can reposition it over here. So that's the heads up display. I like to make sure that I have some quick access to buttons there to really minimize my mouse movement. Okay, so now that you have your SOLIDWORKS system customized the way you want, how do you document this and capture these settings? Well, it's up here under Save Restore Settings. This launches the Copy Settings Wizard. I'll save my settings, I'll hit Next, and you need to check what you want to save. Just save everything, because what we're doing is capturing the state of our customized SOLIDWORKS interface. I hit Browse, make sure this is here, so this is my settings. Even save them, finish, and we're good to go. And if you want to restore those settings, right, that's a file. As long as you can browse to it, put it on Dropbox, a server, take it with you on a flash drive, anywhere you want to go, you can load up those settings by coming back in here. Now we're going to switch to restore the settings. Next, browse, find our settings. This was the file I used. Next, finish. It's saying, hey, do you want to back them up? No. There we go. We're good. And that is our copy settings wizard, saving and restoring our SOLIDWORKS customizations. And also how you customize. Remember, it's always looking for the customize dot, dot, dot. And that is your ticket into the customizing SOLIDWORKS interface. You can customize mouse gestures from here, your keyboard shortcuts, the menu commands, and then just the command icons here, right? So. Just like that, drag and drop. And I hope you enjoyed this video tech tip on how to customize SOLIDWORKS and make sure you capture your settings and take them with you to any computer that you're using.